Focus has now shifted to vaccinations as we move through the pandemic. Ontario labs are still pushing through with testing to track where and how we're doing. For more on this, we're joined live by Michelle Hode, CEO of the Laboratory Professionals Association of Ontario. Michelle, thank you for making time. Good morning. So I'll begin with asking you how testing is going. We're seeing uh, the number of tests being processed in Ontario going down, uh, I'm guessing in large part because vaccinations are now ramping up. Potentially, we are starting to see um, a dramatic drop in tests coming in from assessment centers. So that would mean, you know, as you were saying, it could be somebody's vaccinated, but there's less people requiring COVID testing. So that's very, very good news. What hasn't changed is the testing happening at our hospitals. Mm -hmm. So that is still a steady flow of tests coming into our lab. But, you know, we are doing the right thing right now in Ontario and uh, our numbers are coming down and we can see that in the testing that's happening. So Michelle, tell us more about whether you have any information to offer up about rapid testing, potentially ramping up when we talk about things reopening, especially, you know, the possibility of kids going back to school. Um, are we going to see more rapid testing in those sorts of environments? So from what I understand, this is something the public should be aware of, is the, the government actually, the ministry has a program for businesses to apply where you can actually get rapid tests at your office location. And they've changed the requirements of who can actually do those tests. So you can actually have somebody within your office or business get trained online and they, you can request those tests. So I would encourage the public to actually visit the ministry website and take a look if they qualify. Okay, yeah, that's some great information there. I'm also wondering, Michelle, because I feel like this is something we've really been talking about for the last several months, is how understaffed uh, Lab <laughs> Professionals Association of Ontario has been during this pandemic. Are you in conversations with the government now to talk about a strategy moving forward to get more funding uh, so that we're not in this situation the next time we need uh, you know, more support from our labs? So we actually are going to approach the government in about a month and a half. And the reason is we're actually finalizing all our data to get a clear understanding, accurate number of what our shortage looks like. Okay. So for example, we just did a survey last September. And at that time, there were about 286 medical lab technologists that were needed in the province. We just closed a survey about a week ago, and we're almost at 400. So before we go, we want to make sure that our data is accurate and we will be ready to find solutions with the government we're hoping um, mid to later summer okay um finally michelle just want to ask you how are lab workers doing i mean it's not a profession that we talk about a lot during the pandemic you know we highlight the work of healthcare workers who are in hospitals doctors that sort of thing we don't talk about lab workers very often how are they doing they are stressed out. Um, one of our most recent surveys that we did, 87% are stressed out. There are a lot that uh, they've almost reached the end of their line. Um, the good news is with the testing that's coming down a bit, it's going to give us a little bit of a reprieve. There have been many medical lab technologists and assistants who haven't taken vacation for 15 months. Wow. So the drop in that will help give everybody at least a deep breath. But as you said, you know, we need to find a solution long term because our testing is not going to stop. We do 284 million lab tests a year besides COVID. So we want to make sure that these people are A, healthy, B, not stressed out and C, not forgotten. Yeah, you bring up a good point, Michelle, because I was just thinking, you know, yeah, we're probably going to see COVID tests, hopefully decline in the next couple of months, but then there were all these people who weren't getting other procedural tests done during COVID that I'm sure want to get those sort of routine tests done in the months ahead. Absolutely. And, you know, we're talking about returning to surgeries. There's so many surgeries that have been um, rescheduled. Every single surgery that happens requires some sort of testing into the lab. Right. And I think one thing we need to remember is everything that happens in healthcare goes through the lab. So doctors, nurses, everybody uses those results in order to help patients. So let's not forget about this group. Yeah, really good reminders. Thanks so much for this, Michelle. We appreciate your time this morning and all the work that you and all the lab workers are doing for us this pandemic. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Michelle Hode, CEO of the Laboratory Professionals Association of Ontario.